Hi everybody, welcome back to Tea Time with Aloha and Gogo guys, I'm Vicky. If you need my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to be part of the Tea Time family. The girls are playing with their LOL dolls in the brand new LOL house that they got for Christmas. So if you hear them screaming in the back, they're not arguing, they're genuinely having a very good time. And these dolls are apparently having an issue and they're trying to resolve it. Anyways, let's jump into this video. If you guys follow me on Instagram at Tea Time with Aloha and Coco, you know that I did a poll where I asked you guys if you wanted to see the girls' spring clothing collection. Now, every new season, although it's the same all year round for us here, but every new season, I pick up a handful of items, a handful of new pieces for the girls. And these pieces I use periodically, not just for the, that season, but for the following. Basically, I use these clothes until the girls grow out of them. However, I like to pick up new pieces with new colors that are in, new patterns that are in, because it makes dressing them up extremely fun. And they have a ton of fun when they get to dress up and doll up. So what I do is I take older pieces from maybe last season even winter because like I'll take velvets and I'll somewhat blend it in, mesh it in with the spring style that I'm preparing for them. So I have two daughters. So basically dressing them up, you're going to see ideas and concepts that would fit little girls. So if you like maybe something here, you can just find the alternative for boys. So maybe I put two patterns together and you're like, oh, that looks pretty, that looks pretty dope. Maybe you can find the same patterns um, for like button downs for boys and maybe adding a red accessory. Maybe it's like a fedora or maybe it's like red pants. You know, something that you guys see here, maybe you can kind of modify it and add it to your shopping list for your little one. So I'm gonna get started with what I have picked up for this spring season. Now, I do a lot of Disney. When I say I do a lot of Disney, we go to Disney very often, like a lot. So I really like to pick up pieces. Sorry, I went out off somewhere else. I really like to pick up pieces that I can use at the Disney parks, things that are comfortable, things that are pretty, things that they feel like little princesses in, and things that I can use here in Miami on a daily basis. The, the girls also have a lot of dress up days for school. When I say a lot of dress up days, I'm talking about every single month they have at least one dress up day. This month in particular, they've got five. Long story short, the girls love getting dressed up. I love dressing them up. We go to Disney a lot, so I have to consistently be buying clothes because... <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you guys all of the pieces that I purchased that I plan on using for all of spring, all of summer, basically, until they no longer fit. Let's jump into the tea time spring closet for Aloha and Coco. Links to all of the items that are still available in store online, I will link below. Remember, a lot of these items are brand new and when you find something in the store, if you don't snag it right away, chances are it will be gone like that. So I'm gonna link everything that I know I can find online, I'll link it below so you can just click and purchase. Here we go. So guys, we're gonna start with this super cute little outfit. It's a brand new dress and I'll share with you where I got everything. Um, so we'll start with the headband. The headband is a pearl headband. You can just type in pearl headbands on um, Amazon and you'll get plenty of options that look just like this, if not this exact same one. I also purchased this really beautiful dress from Amazon and let me tell you guys, I was so surprised with the quality. It is such a pretty knitted dress. Oh my God, the quality is, up there with that Janie and Jack um, quality that a lot of parents love. And then I paired it with this beautiful purse from Janie and Jack. It's that really nice French uh, black and white print and it has the chain that has gold accent, which is the same gold accent as the buttons. And I paired this beautiful dress with these little shoes that I purchased whew, years ago. I bought this when I was pregnant with Aloha and I dreamt of the day Aloha would wear these shoes she never wore them. <laughs> I forgot about them, but now Coco can wear them. So I um, I ordered a similar pair on Amazon for the girls. So this dress is from Amazon. I'll link it below so you can pick it up. The bag is Janie and Jack. You may be able to pick it up on the website and it's probably on sale. And the headband also Amazon. This beautiful little dress, perfect for Easter, perfect for Easter mass, just spectacular. Up next, this beautiful little romper set. It's actually not a romper, it's a top and some shorts, but they're very, very pretty, very fitting for spring. 
I picked this up from Target. And the price on this, $25. It's from um, Grayson Threads Kids. Beautiful clothes. This one in particular, um, they had another set that had very tropical, um, it was a very tropical pattern, but I went with this baby blue and baby pink, I'm sorry, baby, baby pink and white um, striped set because it seemed very much uh, airy and, and spring-like. So I paired this beautiful set with some kids' Ray-Bans and this really pretty, um, it's almost like one of these like dusters that you throw over, paired it with this that I bought on Amazon. And I got this beautiful little purse, beautiful, it's a little wicker, um, it's from, uh, I think it's Aliella, I'll put the link below. Um, but this was actually a Christmas gift they, give, they gave to me and I loved it so much I got it for the girls uh, so that they can use it with this set. They also have this white um, straw hat that you can buy on Amazon and these beautiful gold little slip sandals that I bought off of Zara, the Zara website. So I'll link what is available below so you can pick it up, but this little set gives me Easter vibes, gives me like super cute um, school party vibes, love it. Up next, this super cute, I love it for Disney, but it's a nice little pull outfit. I got this um, this knitted um, little uh, sundress that you put over your bathing suit, like a bathing suit cover up. Got it from Target in this beautiful mustard yellow. It's by Art Class. And this particular piece, I'll tell you right now how much it came out to. This was $17. They had it uh, available at Target. They just released it, so it would be a great item to pick up for summertime. And it's just, if you're in Miami, spring, summer, <laughs> fall, it's all the same. So you can go ahead and do this. I also love this piece because you can do a long white button-down dress for girls and have the collars pop out, and you have a beautiful fall dress too. There's so much you can do with this. This bathing suit I love too. It has this zipper detailing in the back. It is $17. Um, also from art class and then in the front it's just plain striped and I love the, the um, maroon and the mustard yellow colors they play very well together with this little Disney uh, purse it's like a coin purse bought that off of uh, shop Disney the hat also from Target and the shoes also from Target they're from um, Cat and Jack these are phenomenal shoes. If you buy them, purchase them. They last forever. Super easy to clean. I, we use them for everything. But this little ensemble, perfect for summer, perfect for spring, perfect for everything. I love it. Up next, I couldn't help but put a spin to this Pirates of the Caribbean outfit. I don't know why I thought Pir Pirates of the Caribbean, but I did. It's this beautiful romper I picked up from Target. It is from Art Class, also $17. Uh, this romper comes in many colors. I'm gonna show you all the ones that I picked up um, from Target, but it's very, very soft, very airy, perfect for summer, perfect for spring. Um, it has little knots at the top. It is. Um, already that way you can't really adjust but I feel like with a little cut and a little sewing if it's too uh, long on the neck for your baby definitely alter it um, I picked up this Pirates of the Caribbean um, it's kind of like a little neck scarf or a head scarf they give it away on the cruises for um, like the Disney Cruise Lines I went a few times to Disney Cruise Lines and um, I just stayed with these. However, I'm sure that if you go online, you can find these on eBay or Amazon. I'm sure you can find little Disney Pirates um, headscarves. Uh, I also picked up this cute little, um, it's a shoulder parrot, but you can tie a knot at the bottom and you can make it a wrist parrot. But I wanted to do it so that when we go to Disney, uh, like the Magic Kingdom during springtime, the girls can have a Pirates of the Caribbean inspired look. 
um, and not something that's overly done, something that they're comfortable, but something that really, um, you know, you can, theme enough to where you know exactly what we're doing, but not so theme that it kind of overpowers the whole outfit, which I didn't want. So this is really, really cute. A simple little accessory. With this little simple accessory, you're done. I also picked up these red velvet uh, purses at Target. Um, they should be available and on sale. I bought this about a month ago, so I'm sure that it's available on sale at this particular point. So again, this was from Target. The purse was from Target. Um, this is from the Disney Cruise Line. You could probably pick it up online. And then this is from Oriental Trading. I also picked up these cute little silver Zara shoes. Very, very pretty. They're probably on sale. If not, you can pick up, these were $25. You could probably pick up something extremely similar on Amazon. And this is our little Pirates of the Caribbean look for spring. So guys, these are the top must-have pieces I feel from all of the ones that I'm showing you. I just showed you the Pirates look which had the same little romper in black. But now let me show you the three other selections they have. So we'll start with this pinstriped piece. The blue and the white go so very, very nicely together. I love this combination. Probably one of my favorite patterns ever. Then you have this lime green. I love this lime green. It screams uh, spring, it screams summer, especially here in Miami. And lastly, I'm going to call this a watermelon pink because it's not coral. It really does throw more to like a water, a true watermelon pink, if you will. Um, these three pieces can be done up so easily. A little purse, a little sun hat, and you got yourself an entire look. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where did we get this piece from? We actually picked this up from Danielle Nicole. It's a very small purse, so it's very fitting for a small little hand. Danielle Nicole. We picked it up a little while back. However, the internet always has everything available. So just look up Pascal uh, Painter's Palette Danielle Nicole purse, and I'm sure you will find it. I'll do my efforts. Um, I'll do my part <laughs> and put my efforts in to see if I can find you a link to one of these. But this is so pretty. So really, there's so much you can do, even if you didn't have this, a nice little tote, something really cute for that spring look. Now, these looks for me are very, very Miami. They're very Disney. Um, there's so much you can do. I know that right off the bat, looking at this, I can create a Belle look. I can create, um, let me see, a Cinderella look. Uh, I can do an Alice in Wonderland look. I can do a Wendy from Peter Pan look. There's just a lot you can do. Jumping into this lime green, oh my gosh, you can do Goofy. You can do, um, I'm trying to think of characters like the Creaky from Mulan. You can do, I don't know, like Spring. You can do like Bees. There's just so much. If you really sit down and think about it, um, a Tiana look with this, oh my God, just so many beautiful options. And then with this coral, there's a lot you can do too. I Honest to God, I have to sit down and just like, think of characters, but I would do a piglet with this. I would do a Cheshire cat. I don't know, there's just so much. And you can do it up as much as you want and do it down as much as you want. But these looks, even for cruising, I don't know, there's just so much. Now, let me show you a pair of shoes that go well with all three of these. Now, if we're gonna talk about shoes, tell me something about these cute little Cat and Jack shoes. So pretty, they're these um, like fluffy, uh, slippers but they have pearls so they take these shoes and elevate them to another level now when you pair these shoes together with these looks phenomenal just phenomenal it takes a little look and you can do something you could do a little duster like I did with another the other look throw a duster over these what a perfect little springtime look you can they have a whole bunch of colors um, I've only seen the green, but this green with that watermelon pink, perfect. These two, perfect. And even this doesn't look bad. I love it. So there's really a lot of things that you can play around with. So I picked these up. I can't remember how much they were, but I'm going to go on a limb here and say about $17, maybe $15. I don't know, but they had them available at Target. And my last and final piece, this felted little Valentine's Day. Um, it's supposed to be like a little basket, 
but for three dollars this makes for a fantastic purse for a little girl look how pretty this would look with this item together it would probably complete the outfit for valentine's day and it's again you don't have to go with the traditional look the traditional colors that's something that i've always said you can play around with color play around with textures it doesn't necessarily have to be what fits the mold but this little romper with the pinstripes in blue and white and this little bag totally a vibe i would pair this probably with some white wedges a little duster something nice in the head i would not put a bow i would probably do some sort of beret something fun something different and you have yourself one heck of a little valentine's day look and if you want to stick with the heart concept why not easter why can't that be the purse and the easter basket i just feel like there's so much that could be done with this so you could pick this little felted bag up at the Target's dollar spot right now for just $3. You can even personalize it. You can buy patches as I did with my um, Stony Clover um, DIYs and you can put your child's name with patches. Absolutely spectacular. Guys, those are four total looks and then you have additional pieces that I feel are must have essential basic pieces that you need in your child's wardrobe to really amp up, play up, play down. It could be for around the house, it could be to go out, but this spring, those are essential pieces. Anyways, I hope you love this video. I would love to bring you more of these kind of like styling my children's clothes and new pieces to add to your closet for the new season. I love it. I do it anyway. I share it with you on Instagram at Tea Time with Aloha and Coco. So I'm really, really happy that you guys voted to see this. Anyways, don't forget to click like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys for our next video. Until next time.